Bam! Bam. Why is it up there? Yeah, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> it works. God, I thought that was absolutely dreadful. <laughs> All right, and there we are, because I don't know how to fade out yet. Just slide it. Oh, <laughs> that works. <laughs> we is live. Word up. So, how's it going, y'all? This is So Like You Know, the podcast your mother warned you about. I'm Bo. I'm JP. And I'm Shell. Yeah! So, uh, this is the uh, show for April 20th, 420. For all you weed smoky people out there, yeah. <laughs> uh, <coughs> cough. But yeah, so if you guys like us, don't forget we're live every Thursday at nine thirty Mountain Standard Time, right here on Spreaker.com slash SLYK Radio. We're also on Facebook and Twitter at SLYK Radio and iTunes and the Stitcher Smarter Way to Listen Radio. And uh, something a little newer um, is the YouTube channel. Woo! Uh, so, um, I'll post a, a link for it, but, uh, just go to YouTube, search SLYK Radio, go to the one with the most likes, because for some reason we have two, I need to get rid of the other one. So, uh, yeah, not, not really sure, but we'll, uh, we'll get there. What's up, Wayne? <coughs> What's going on, Wayne? Um, the other one's got that John Barrowman singing on it, which is still pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. <coughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get that switched over, that's for sure. But anyways, so, yeah. Beer! Yay! What are we drinking tonight, Bo? We're drinking beer! So, uh, if you guys didn't see, over in the little window that is over there, is it, uh, I wish I could just go like, it's over, it's over there. <laughs> and yeah, it was just, just like a beer, like, here. magic! <laughs> um, we are drinking a Rogue Voodoo Donut Grape Gorilla. Do anything on there? Ah! There's some stuff on there for you to read. So <laughs> it is a uh, ale from Rogue Brewing with a 7.5 ABV. This ale it was inspired by the Voodoo Donut Grape Ape Donut. Well, that's a <laughs> tongue twister to say. A creation that features vanilla frosting, grape dust, and purple sprinkles. Purple drink! So Voodoo Donuts is down in Colorado, Denver. Colorado, right. Denver. Denver. Colorado, Denver. That sounds I think Colorado, right. <laughs> but more specifically, Denver. So, uh, haven't done um, a Voodoo Donut in quite some time. Uh, we Do you just... remember the Grape Ape Donut? I thought you got that when we all went, when you, Will, and I went. And, I, I, uh, I believe I did. Yeah, I believe I did. And I remember it being rather tasty. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It sounds good. Didn't you like the like waffle one or something? <coughs> Dude, it's been so long. I don't remember their donuts, but I just remember thoroughly being happy that I was eating those donuts that had been so right long awaited. Yeah, it was, it was just like someday we will eat the donut. What's up, Daniel? So I mean, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. burp. Oh, you heard about the guy that died in the donut eating challenge at Voodoo, right? Yeah, he was trying to eat that half pound donut, and uh, he choked to death. He was trying to yeah. eat too fast. I think he had to eat it in a minute and a half or something. Something like that, yeah. <coughs> yeah, so. it was crazy. <coughs> yeah, so they had to uh, they cut that challenge short, which is sad, but uh, the same time he did it to himself, so... I don't know. Right. It's like it's like I'm on both sides of the thing. I feel sorry for the family. Don't get me wrong. Well, it's a hazard. It's a hazard. Like it is. I mean, like I think it, you know. Think about eating a couple of their donuts and how like badly you need a glass of milk. True. Very true. You know. Did they react? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm also drinking a beer tonight. It is my blueberry nightmare from. The Berficio del Ducato in Italy. Our fancy. Oh, maybe oh, we should have drank yeah. the other beer tonight. Yeah. <laughs> we had a blueberry uh, sour. Yeah, it's uh, a special one-time creation that truly lives up to its name. 
The base is a stout brewed with hot chili peppers that has been aged for almost two years with blueberries and uh, PDO caucus. Don't, don't you talk it? to me like that. <laughs> it is opaque black in color in, in with just a touch of carbonation. Quite acidic and tart along with very intense flavors and aromas. This nightmare <laughs> is sure to leave a lasting memory. <laughs> so yeah. Should be exciting. <coughs> yeah, it should. Everybody's um, coughing up a storm. Hey, Daniel. So I, uh, I don't know Facebook? if it was someone coughing or me coughing. Not Tony. Was it Tony hey, coughing? Have a bottle opener or a lighter to open. The bottle opener. And I'm gonna warm up the beer until it starts. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Here yeah, we go. Yeah, Vincent. Donuts. Voodoo donuts. That's a thing. Um, they have a whole series, though. Uh, you want to grab those other two bottles real quick? So, so um, Rogue is... They were different. I thought they were just one and the same. Yeah, so Rogue has done a few others. Um, right here we have the uh, chocolate peanut butter banana ale, and then that is the lemon cruller, I believe. Yep, um, And there are others, so, I mean, we'll be trying them as they come out, as I remember. So they're definitely... Uh, Something to uh, look out for. If they yeah. come out, what, what are these like? Forty ounces? Yeah, I think "look out for" is definitely the exact term for that because <laughs> it's it can be rough sometimes. Not not because it's like bad tasting, just because it's such a strong flavor, it's unexpected. But that being said, that is something I would expect from Rogue. I mean, it's kind of their thing. I said the word that summoned you. Excellent. Because Voodoo Donut is delicious. Mm -hmm. The beer... Plus the bat signal was on. Plus the bat signal... Oh. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know who this Vincent guy is, but he sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Vincent is uh, one of the more badass cosplayers I know. That's why I said he's like, pretty cool. There Donut you go. Drake. <laughs> Donut Drake. That's his name. <laughs> <laughs> donut, it, it's Donut Bling, right? I think it's Donut Drake. Oh, did you changed it, didn't you, Vincent? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Either way. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to drink the beer throughout the show. We'll let you know what we think. Um, that is a flick flavor right there. Ah. Anyways, so uh, we always want to go and let you know about one of our sponsors. That's Hangins. H-A-N-G-I-N-Z. It's an awesome product. If you are looking to protect your phone... Uh, it works with any phone with a case, allowing you to strap a lanyard to it so you can attach it to your neck, your wrist, your purse, your backpack, keep it from falling to the ground because it's a $600 investment and you're probably drinking beer too. So don't break that shit. But uh, you can go pick it up. Uh, go to our website, solikeyouknow.com. You can click on the link that is down on the bottom right-hand side. Or you can just Google Hangins. That's H-A-N-G-I-N-Z. Only four ninety nine with free shipping. So go pick it up. You need a hangins for like beer cans. It's <laughs> part of the tab. The beer hangins. I think that's an amazing idea, and it should. Like, oh no, I dropped it. Oh wait, I did because it's on a string. <laughs> it's the it's the it's the ball in the cup, but I didn't drop the ball in the cup because it's got a string attached to the ball to the cup, or however <laughs> that goes. But anyways, coming up next is Slick Feed. Where we geek on your week. There we go. We got the order down. Look at that. Yay! It's so fancy. <laughs> so, if you guys have been paying to any kind of news feeds and you were interested in the Nintendo NES Classic that had come out... Hot item. Yeah. Um, sold out everywhere. <laughs> yep. It's hard to get your hands on it, and it's already been pre-ordered if, it pre if you haven't already got one. But, sadly, it's being discontinued. By the end of this month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by the end of this month. It was, a, it was originally a plan by Nintendo to do such as that, so... If you didn't get one early, like my dumbass did not, you probably won't be getting one. Mm, unless it's from eBay for yeah. wildly outrageous prices. <laughs> Amazon's selling them for $153 right now. It's So more than twice the price that it was coming it's out. It's weird because Ouch. Nintendo put out a whole statement saying, it's like, yeah, we, uh, we listened to like um, viewer feedback or people who had hands-on with it, and they're just like, we're just going to end it. I was like, you're not listening whatsoever. You're sold <laughs> out everywhere. Yeah. However, if you can't get your hands on one of those, you guys might want to check out the alternative. It's called the Retro Freak Game Console. 
it's it's gonna run you about two hundred dollars, but it plays Famicom, the SNES, uh, Mega Drive, Genesis, PC Engine, uh, the Turbo Graphics sixteen has Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Super Graphics. So all kinds of stuff. I think yeah, it was two twenty three to be specific, uh, specific on Amazon. Also, what's up, oh, Eric? Okay. Um and. Uh, Daniel, we're totally getting to that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, I mean, if you guys want to pick that, the cool thing about it, that uh, it's it really is a console system, and if you have any of the games, it'll plug into it. Which I have plenty of games. <laughs> now, and the other thing, too, is that you can buy modified cartridges that you can load images of games on, too. Mm. I don't know if it'll work specifically with this system, but it works with any other unmodified system, so I wouldn't see why it wouldn't. It right. just allows you to plug it into, you know, you plug a thing in the top of your computer, then you can load up the program and then play whatever the hell you want to. Decent. Yeah, hell yeah. What's up, Michael? And, Kristen, the beer is interesting. It's yes. growing on me. It's growing on me, but it, it's interesting. That's, that's for sure. It's not as sweet as it, the old Voodoo Donuts. It definitely smells like a cough syrup of some sort. <laughs> Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Right? Am I the only one who smells that? Kind of like cough syrup. Um, yeah, but he is a weirdo and he likes cough syrup. Yeah, so I'm not surprised. So I mean, we'll we'll see. Like I said, it, it it's growing on me very quickly. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. it's a hoppier beer, so, but um, I feel like the grape ape is like a grape pixie stick. Uh, the, well, yeah, like the donut we had had up at Voodoo yeah. Donuts. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So, um, think, yeah. Was it and the Daniel's uh, referencing uh, back to the uh, the retro freak? Daniel says, "Yeah, there's also a Raspberry Pis and the Retro Engine Sigma, which is very true." Raspberry Five is only like thirty five dollars. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, so you can pick up a Raspberry Pi, get the images for your games, and most of the Pies now um, are full systems on their own with RAM, HDMI out, and uh, full processors. So you could basically just load it up and go to town like that without needing the whole system. Yeah. Because you need, like, I mean, conversion you could, stuff for... Yeah, I mean, the most money you would pro You might spend 60 bucks total because you'd have to get the USB modified, um, uh, like, NES controllers or a controller that would work with it. I mean, I'm sure you can make any Logitech controller or uh, PC-compatible controller work with it. Um, but, you know, I mean, either way, 35 bucks. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper at 153 Yep. But if you guys did miss out on the NES Classic, uh, like Daniel's saying in the chat room... We are working on the mini Super NES Classic Edition. Rumors. 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 Yeah, stuff. rumors. And you'd heard something about it? Like it was going to take cartridges or something? Yeah, that it was also going to take cartridges. But, who knows? Yeah. It's all it's all hearsay. Nintendo fanboys say, <laughs> say what you will in the forums. Yeah. Very true. I mean, you, we can only hope. I mean, with the success of the Nintendo Classic, it would only make sense that they would do something like that. Yeah, but, Wayne, the, the, the Raspberry, like, struggles with 1080p. Obviously it would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, and you can get... Uh, so Wayne said in the chat room, Raspberry Pi struggles with 1080p, FYI, which is true. Um, Those games. But... Do you really need it? Yeah, you don't really need it. And then, the funny thing is, is Wayne would point that out. Wayne doesn't really get any movies above 720p. <laughs> <laughs> it's a waste of time. In space! <laughs> But, I mean, you can get mods for the Raspberry Pi, like additional boards and ramps and, st and, st <laughs> and stuff like that to uh, increase the uh, the memory and the capabilities of the system. So, um, I mean, it's up to you where you want to take it. Uh, I, I think I even saw a video of someone taking, like, DDR3, and it was a mod for the Raspberry Pi, so you could, like, really ramp it up. Nice. So, I mean, those, those things are extremely versatile, so... <laughs> Wait, it says, not true, X265, all XP now. Okay, so you've upgraded in life. I, That does make me happy, man. <laughs> the longest I've is like, no, no, I will not do 1080p. I'm not even going to download 1080p. It's just too much memory, and I don't want to waste it. Remember, my TV which, was which only 720 for a while. Yeah, true. Wayne, Wayne, Wayne is a man of specifics, and I can appreciate that. He likes what he likes. He likes what he likes. Get on, uh, get on his level. <laughs> um, what else do we got? Oh, so yeah. Um, anyone else played the Witcher series aside from me? You, Shell? 
No. No. I have it. <laughs> I have seen tons it's of terrible. awesome cosplay, though, for it. Oh, hell yeah. I've seen sex on a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That, that scene. Yeah, I could probably do the Witcher cosplay. Here's a beard. <laughs> I just I was talking about a unicorn. I was like, I can do a witcher cosplay. And you're just a unicorn. I can have, right have sex on a unicorn. <laughs> no, you're the unicorn. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna take have my you, hair out and just have, have it like right here. Starbucks unicorn trap yet? No, I refused because um, I like my teeth where they are. <laughs> yeah, I don't need them it rotting out very, of my face. It, it tastes like sherbet. I don't know. It's very sweet, and then it's very sour. It's not bad, though. But, it, I mean, it's got mango syrup in it, it so said, I guess it, it kind of tastes like mango. as much sugar as, like, three Snickers bars. Holy I'm yeah. just like, no, like, nah, I'm good. That but, is, that's way too sweet of a drink for me. I like where my teeth are. <laughs> uh, yeah. To say the least. Um... Yeah, uh, Kristen, we totally saw the uh, SNX classic, like we were saying. So, um, But yeah, so if you guys like the Witcher series, um, then you can check out the Witcher School for Adults. Um, it is a uh, camp that, uh, during the game, you can play as an adept, uh, passing Witcher training. You get to learn the secrets of fencing, archery, alchemy, and you hunt for monsters, discovering the mysterious and intrigues, and stood before difficult choices and felt firsthand the consequences. Unicorn included. It's basically a LARPing camp <laughs> <laughs> with unicorns. I don't know if there's unicorns, but goddamn, I hope there is. <laughs> oh. It's an adult camp. Come on. Yeah, but when you say adult, I now imagine like dildo unicorns, mm-hmm. like running around like floppy things in their foreheads. Yeah, they can do whatever <laughs> they want. It's their camp. I'm glad I wasn't looking at the video when I saw myself do that thing. <laughs> Things I shouldn't see myself do. Yeah, there's a long list of that shit. Um, what else do we got? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, ESO, uh, aka Elder Scrolls Online, um, if you guys didn't know, Morrowind, an expansion that's coming out soon. <laughs> Shell, do you know when? <laughs> I don't know. Shell's doing her own thing. Um, Sorry, he's making fun of me because I'm trying to ask him a question like under my breath so you guys don't hear he can, but, he can. that I'm like saying stupid words because I'm doing it that Look, way. Look, if you guys want to talk about strapping a unicorn dildo to his forehead and just going to town, that that's fine. I mean, the show has no boundaries. <laughs> Yep, hit, hit that no, explicit content. I was watching Cowboy Bebop, but it was the intro, and I was asking him if it was the TV show or if it was the movie. So but it, it came out Kiao Kia, Boy. Kiao Boy. Yeah, Boy. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. Something like that. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> are you, Shell, are you celebrating 420 and you just don't know how to talk? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I celebrate 420 every day. Celebrate her day. <laughs> it's her life. Her day. Fair enough. Her day. Um, Cash me outside. How about that? Nope. Nope. You're done. You're done. <laughs> no more. Yeah. No more show. Well, United Airlines, can we can we remove her? <laughs> they said I'm done. No more. <laughs> it looks like this, looks like this podcast is overbooked, Shell. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I mean, I, I just had to. Bad shell. Bad. Um, anyways, like I was saying, so Morrowind's coming to ESO, and with Morrowind, uh, they're actually bringing a new race called the Warden. Um, a race that uh, is for protecting the, uh, the kind of the realm. That's their whole goal. And um, <laughs> thank you, Wayne, for posting that in there. Uh, Wayne says, uh, unicorn rainbow shit ice cream. I've seen this. <laughs> Anyone who's in the chat room and Spreaker should definitely click on that link so you can see it, because it's uh, disturbing, to say the least. <laughs> Mark says that you should be banned for using that reference. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen uh, the unicorn 
prop uh, filter on Snapchat? <laughs> no, no. It, I'm believe a, it or not, I, neither of us I, use Snapchat. I, I'm an adult. It's quite ridiculous. I will send you guys the picture. I, I said I'm an adult. I, I'm wearing a Batman t-shirt and you're wearing a Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> that Star T-shirt. The <laughs> enemy of anime posters behind me. Speaking of that, look at that awesome new poster. The Zerk. JP buys cool fucking shit. That's for damn sure. Yeah, over further. Not Shell's head. That's a little weird. <laughs> <coughs> but <coughs> God damn it! I need to get over this fucking cold. Ah, uh, just another week probably. Mm-hmm. Stupid fucking. You know, I'll be like. <laughs> That's I got it. The black lung, Paul. Um. So yeah, but the warden uh, looks pretty awesome. Uh, you guys should check it out. Uh, I'll be picking up more when when it comes out. That's for sure. After a month or so, because um, everything has you know. That's how everything works. It's, it's <coughs> crap. Um. Daniel says he does. He's never never used Snapchat either. Yep. I I, I don't know. I don't know how you young kids. Have zi- I'm, I'm trying to read Snapchat and it disappears. It's like, I don't fucking need that in my life. How, how am I supposed to look at this? God damn it. Piece of shit. I mean, it really is just like, it's for dick pics. It really is. Dick but pics and unicorns. It's really fun filters. Can like, you put a I unicorn like filter on a penis? Uh, that was Tony's question. Could you put filters on your penis? And I said it has to recognize a face. He's like, what if I put googly eyes? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, you could draw. I got eyes googly on. eyes and I know what I'm trying with Hannah's phone. It's, 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 it, actually, it actually has one <laughs> eye. reason Bo downloads Snapchat. <laughs> a penis actually has one eye. So After it's me. like, yeah. <laughs> what about people who lost their eye in an archery accident or something? <laughs> Or a unicorn accident. I mean, things happen, man. Yes. Getting hit, getting hit in the face with a bird on a roller coaster. <laughs> that was a hell of a uh, thing. Oh yeah, that video. <laughs> I'm still not sure if that was blood or shit on his face. Both. <laughs> it was blit. Yeah. The last thing that went through that bird's mind was his ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> as funny as that roller coaster video was, the f- the funniest one that I've seen was that guy who's like deathly afraid of roller coasters, and his girlfriend is just like having the time of her life, and he's like, "I want to break up! I want to break yeah, up!" I was like, rough. and her face just, her it's reaction amazing. to that is just amazing. Yeah, I love that shit. Oh, think, think the internet for YouTube. Think. I was uh, watching this one the other day. It was on Lord one of those Google. like slingshot swings. Uh huh. And. Uh, this guy, you could tell he was pretty nervous and he was with his girlfriend and um, <laughs> they launched him and he just like all of a sudden he just very peacefully like went to sleep mm-hmm. and she looks over and she just starts dying of laughter like she's not even scared anymore she's just laughing because he passed out oh that would be hilarious, much like uh, what Mark says, if penis has actually had eyes every sex encounter would be a free pelvic exam <laughs> this is true <laughs> Oh, would it be like like when it's in your pants? Would it be like covering up one eye? <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. Maybe. Like what? What has more? Like, is more evidence? What? What vision would take over? <laughs> <laughs> like you suddenly go blind when you get a hard on. Yeah. <laughs> Just pass out. Yep. <laughs> but it's like it's like they're like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> Sorry, I got there. That went to a weird place. <laughs> uh, speaking of weird places and penises with their own, you know what Shell does for a living? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably it's not unrelated. What you're now. <laughs> um, I cosplay. You guys can follow my cosplay stuffs on uh, Facebook and Twitter at Shellshock Cosplay, and I'm also on the Instagrams. And Snapchat, oh. apparently. And Snapchat, and Snapchat. But please, like, don't send me dick pics. Like, Send all the dick pics so that we can laugh at your penis. No. No. <laughs> no, but you know who would love some dick pics? Jen. Jen would love some dick pics. Uh, what's her Snapchat? Jen, what's your Snapchat? Oh, our door's closed. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> ask her. <laughs> Jen, we want to try to get you some penis pictures. <laughs> 
Yeah. But anyways, uh, <laughs> moving on from dick pics, if you guys want to check out some other cool stuff that I'm involved with, you should check out Club Cosplay. They are the nightclub for nerds by nerds. Um, you can find them on Facebook at Club Cosplay Denver. They're also online at clubcosplaydenver.com. Um, I'm not sure when the next event is, but they just had one of their nightclub events up in the Rhino neighborhood um, on the 15th. So last <laughs> Saturday, uh, it was a rockin' good time. Everybody, if there was a huge turnout, I, I believe they sold out at the door. That's um, uh, that's pretty badass. I mean, it looked like it was an awesome touch. So, like, when they're saying that those tickets are pre-order, like, for five bucks, just do it. Pre-order it. So you're going to save yourself some money, and you're also going to save yourself the chance that the tickets might sell out. Damn right. So, I mean, yeah. it's, it's a popular event. Oh, my. It friend. is. So, I mean, don't miss your chance. Um... Being in the springs, we've missed too many chances, but we will get up there. Yes. I swear. They're actually, the next one they're doing is down in the springs. Yep. Oh, cool. Where? I do know that. Um, I'm not sure the actual location, but I do know it is in the springs. Okay. Well, Shell's going to find that one out, and we're yes. going to be able to tell you for the next show. Yes. I will we might do post that shit. Like, on location. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Duty well, they always offer. I mean, I don't know why the hell not. Daniel says, uh, and uh, here I was thinking of flooding Shell's inbox with pictures of Dick Van Dyke. Uh, well, those dick pics are okay. <laughs> How about Dick Dykes? What about Andy Dick? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yes, Andy Dick, please. <laughs> You're just going to fill your box with Andy Dick. <laughs> so much dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck, I don't even know what I was talking about anymore. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so uh, make sure you check out Shell's Cosplay. Um, speaking of cosplayers, I should probably let you all know, we uh, we got into Denver Comic Con again this year. Um, Woo! Slight downside, they're not doing Podcast Peak anymore, but that's okay. Roaming Podcast! <laughs> roaming! We will be roaming, but we're still going to be doing interviews. Um, and if you guys want to meet up with us, you know, just message us on Facebook, uh, mm -hmm. Twitter, you could probably hide, hide in the corner, like, Schmeagle. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have a little booth that we're going to find, like, an empty corner and just, like, uh, it'll, I'll, like, sit down and the booth will just pop up around me. It's just going to be a, mo a mobile booth. So it's like, we'll just say, like, what's, what are you cosplaying as? A podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the legs swing out and it's like, how you doing today? <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. I kind of want to do that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, but we will be there at Denver Comic Con, um, so make sure you pick up your tickets for it, that's for sure. Um, but you will be seeing me, JP, Shell, and Hannah there. Daniel yeah. will be there too. <laughs> oh, and I'm sure Daniel will be there. Um, uh, Jen's gonna be there Saturday, so you guys can meet her. So, um, yeah. But pretty awesome. Um, Danny says, hopefully we'll not be in lines for days like last year. Thank you, Speed Pass. Oh, yeah. It was super hot <laughs> getting into Denver Comic Con. <laughs> I was like, why is it so hot? I know there's a lot year, of people sir. looking for Speed Passes on my on Facebook. Yeah, there are benefits to having media passes, that's for sure. Walk through the door! Um, which is very lucky. Uh, I hope they have that same this year. Lines it should, suck. Shouldn't be that bad. But, anyways, so, uh, but yeah, pick up your passes. Uh, I believe the VIP passes are already gone. Mm -hmm. Usually um, that's the first thing to go for any event. Yeah, so, um, but make sure you pick up your passes. Uh, the three days, I believe, sold out last year. Um, not even too close to con. I think it was like a month out and they were all gone. Um, Danny says, uh, plus, like, he can't wait to put on Spike again on Saturday. There right, you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, Eric's gonna be the thing on Saturday. Uh, Eric, your thing costume is awesome. So, <laughs> but yeah, all kinds of badass cosplays are gonna be at Denver, Com Denver Comic Con. Um, all kind of excellent artists, celebrities, um, really expensive food. <laughs> um, they're doing the yeah. the craft beer that they do at Denver, every every Denver Comic Con. Um, is it selected? Oh, do you know what name one? Do you remember? Uh, it was the Carrie Fisher beer, I believe. I don't okay. remember the name of it. 
Um, <coughs> Mark says I should uh, cosplay as the TARDIS. It's the type of <laughs> it's a type of booth as it is. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that wants to destroy all the humans. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so uh, yeah, make sure you check it out. Don't miss out, that's for sure. Uh, coming up next is Feed Squared. Double the fun. Is there more to that? Sorry. Yes, no, that was it. Oh, that was it. Okay. So uh, <laughs> I'm doing show notes on the post. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Um, back to Denver Comic Con real quick. Daniel says he thought he was he thought the name was something to do with Groot. I thought that was one of the options, but I thought yeah. they went with the Carrie Fisher beer. I wish we had something that could tell us these, these things. Hold on. I think I got an email about it. Let me uh, let me double check. You tell them about the Scotland And thing. so, the Prime Minister of Scotland, Theresa May, said that after, after it was suggested to her <laughs> by a Canadian writer, and the populace might leave the UK to join Canada. Yeah, so... so um, I don't even know what can be. Well, I guess the Philippines used to be like a U.S. territory. Oh, I know, and the Virgin yes. Islands are U.S. territory. Easter Islands, I think, are also U.S. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, and then the British still own a ton of shit. They do. So I mean, it's one of those things that like the Scotland wants to leave the U.K. Um, following Brexit um, and possibly join up with Canada. Mm-hmm. So. I guess they're oh, yeah. just looking for universal health care. That's pretty crazy because even France, like, depending who gets voted in as a president, like, they could actually leave the EU as well. So I'm just like, holy crap. Just people just leaving the, the uh, <coughs> European Union. It's crazy. Oh, I, uh, I have the beer for Denver Comic Con. Um, so it, uh, Daniel was right. It is the Groot. It's I Am Brute. Uh, it's the sixth custom beer crafted by Breckenridge Brewery, available only during the con. Breckenridge Brewery and Denver Comic Con proudly announced that I Am Brute, submitted by Rihanna Elizabeth Henry, is the name of the 2017 DCC beer, which is a bohemian pilsner. Pilsner. <laughs> pilsner. <laughs> pilsner! Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, artist Noah Eisman of Boulder, Colorado, will be creating the artwork for this year's DCC I Am Brute. Collective Pint Glass, uh, which will be given away at select events uh, up to and during the con. So uh, you can check out more of Noah's work at Noah Eisman, uh, that's N-O-A-H-E-I-S-E-N-M-A-N dot com. So, yeah, pretty awesome. Um, And it looks like Rihanna actually got a free Breck beer for a year, an official DCC tap handle, which is pretty badass. So get those ideas in there. (laughs) Get them in. Yeah. So, Daniel, did um, did you type out what I was saying? It looks like no. It. He, he had that up there before, but yes. No, it's just it says oh one. This is literally one minute. <laughs> yeah, as you were reading it, he put it up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. If you guys missed what I spoke, Daniel, copy and paste in there like a smart man, which in I should in the just speaker done. chat. I thought last year's beer was disgusting. The Snape? The Snape Ricot? It was the best one that they've made so far, though. No, that is very true. Uh, you can't argue that. <laughs> I still didn't like it, so. Copy I mean, it Facebook wasn't page. great. Yeah, but hopefully this year will be even better. Um, I mean, like, it's... I liked their vanilla porter that they also put out at the... They were, oh. like, promoting at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That was good. The vanilla porter was good. But yeah, I wasn't wild about the, the sneaker cot. But mm-hmm. I didn't even get to have any because I was like, man, this line is long. <laughs> I think we still gave it like a three, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I didn't know how much was in there. <laughs> the bottle's so heavy. It is. Much heavier than the cans. Yeah. Wow. Daniel says that he likes the apricot beers. So it was right up his alley with that one. Understandable. Um, the Jai Doc one. <laughs> so uh, Mark says after double the fun, you should add uh, logarithmically speaking, since it's feed squared. That's not too bad. <laughs> we should have like a like a weird sound effect. Double the fun, <laughs> where it's like echoing. <laughs> <laughs> 
we can like 80s the hell out of that shit. That would be awesome. Crossfire. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of those boards that we can push buttons, and it's gonna be cool. We have to label it though. <laughs> oh yeah. We just be like, uh, yeah. is this ah. one? <laughs> you just. Uh, I know this one's power. I want to ride your speaks your disco dick. <laughs> you just hitting this. Yeah. And you can drag and drop. Look, it's in order now. <laughs> <laughs> That makes it so much easier. I didn't realize that could happen. <laughs> I was like, can I drag this? Yeah, otherwise you click on things like... What? That's weird. And it just stopped. Yes. Yes. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why that messed up. That was weird. Technical difficulties. It's alright, that's what happens when you use so many systems. Um, but, uh, so yeah. Speaking of systems. Skyline might be part of the Canadian stuff. But speaking of systems, Apple is possibly eyeing to buy off Disney. Which is ridiculous to me because they have Star Wars. I know, right? I can't I can't even fathom that. It, I, it, that seems about as crazy as like Comcast getting... All, um, all the stormtroopers are going to have an Apple symbol on the back of their helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, at least, you know, no one else will be able to pick up their guns because they'll be proprietary. Um, but, uh, yeah, so they're looking to uh, spend some $200 billion. It is rumored um, that, that would make the company worth over $1 trillion. $1 trillion. Exactly. <laughs> um, I can't even fathom what that kind of money is. Why do you need to go? Why do you need to buy vertically? Right? It's so like, like buy just go horizontally. Is. Like, anything that's within their market. Like, yeah. if they were trying to buy, like, Microsoft, that'd be ridiculous. Uh-huh. Dana says he highly doubts Disney will sell to Apple, which I agree. No, they've got a cash cow called Star Wars. And yeah, I mean, it, it's forever. They have the next... 20 years of movies planned out, I believe. I think that's what uh, Eisner was saying. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that would be completely ridiculous to try that crap. So, um, but anyways, I, you never know. Uh, but speaking of Star Wars, uh, if you guys haven't checked out the trailer for Battlefront 2 Star Wars, it uh, it's coming out soon as well. Um, I'm excited because it actually looks like you get to play as There's more... Just- there's a single player, guys. Yeah, it's a single player, <laughs> <laughs> and you get to look, it looks like you get to be part as uh, play as the Empire, which is awesome. Yeah, I mean, like a Empire, like special forces female. Mm-hmm. Damn right. Uh, stepping back, uh, Wayne says fifteen movies planned for Star Wars. Um, yeah, over. There. 15 years, yeah. Marvel is up, like, to 2025. Star Wars is up to this trilogy. Yeah. Um, and also the new trailer. Hey, we'll get there, Daniel! We'll get there! <laughs> <laughs> That's in movie stuff. Um, anyways, so, uh, yeah, Star Wars Battlefront 2, single player. Um, get to play as the Empire, so I am actually excited to get this game. Because I played, I played uh, the original, or not the original, I played Battlefront. I played um, the beta. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I got it, well, I rented it from Redbox, mm-hmm. and I played it, and I was like, well, that was fun, and I never played it ever again. I wasn't really it's interested. It's because they got the sound and the lighting all right, but there's nothing behind it. Yeah. It was it, just... It's just weird seeing, like, oh, I'm on Hoth, this is an awesome battle, and you just see, like, a stormtrooper just bunny hopping across the field. Yep. <laughs> it's just, like, it takes you out of it. And it really does. It does. But here, they're not going to be restricted by, like, trilogies or anything. It's going to span the whole the whole Star Wars universe. Yeah, I so mean, it's, like, it's from, neat. like, beginning of Empire, and where you saw a little bit of Rey in the uh, trailer, so, I mean, it's going to be a whole ton of it, and I th- I'm i definitely interested. Don't get me I thought, wrong. I thought I saw Mace Windu in there, too, so that's pretty uh, that's cool. very possible, yeah. That would be, uh, that'd be cool. I want to play as Mace Windu. He's a badass. Too bad he got knocked out of a window, and we have no confirmation of whether or not he's dead. But he might have a grandkid. Yup. <laughs> um, Finn Windu. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, uh, so... 
Speaking of Battlefront 2, so they're not going to make people uh, pay for a season pass. So they say right now. Yeah, as they say right now. But hopefully, I mean, it is like Grand Theft Auto where they just keep releasing content. It's going to be EA, though. So there's going to be like a whole bunch of microtransactions. Okay. Hopefully yeah. not like, um, was it Han Solo's Blaster, which was like a level 20 unlock, but you could pay and have it then and there. So like when the game first came out, like people were just getting wrecked. Yeah, Han Solo's blaster. Here's a super OP weapon. We're just gonna screw everyone else up. Yeah, no, that sucks. Um, but either way, I'm excited. I, I won't. I won't be buying it immediately. Nope. Um, the only game that I want immediately is uh, Destiny Two. That's 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 it. That's all I care about. I too will be getting it immediately. <laughs> That's just because, you know, you have friends that care about you and uh, force your birthday on you. Secret birthday. <laughs> it's like birthday graping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> get it? Graping. I don't get it. Oh, I just, I just realized it says grape gorilla. Yeah. Rape gorilla? <laughs> I'm going to tell you to the radiator and grape you. Anyways, maintain eye contact with the webcam while I say that. (coughs) Anyways, so uh, Disney, more Disney news. Uh, They want to launch a Star Wars luxury starship-esque. Well, it's not a starship. It's a resort. It's Mm -hmm. a resort inside of Disney's Star Wars land. Um, And they want to make it feel like you're staying inside the cruise ship. A Star Wars cruise ship? Like a crashed cruise ship? (laughs) <laughs> I think it's more like a landed luxury yeah. cruise ship, but I don't know. That's I mean, cool and all, but what I want is I want the Fifth Element cruise ship. That would be amazing, and so I want to cool. stay in the room that got blown up because that room was posh. Right? After or before? <laughs> <laughs> it got maybe, blown there, up. maybe there's like a before and after room, like you can go sleep in like there. Like you go to sleep and it wakes, and you wake up and it's all like destroyed. Oh, that would be awesome. Like walls flip around. Ooh, that would be cool. They'd have to do that so silently. Like purposely <laughs> drug you in the room so you wouldn't know. And the panels flip. <laughs> yep. Or it, uh, yeah. No, oh, that would be hilarious. And that was three things that had to do with Disney and Star Wars. Yeah. They all yeah. had to do with Disney. That was that was that was Disney filled, man. Um, so yeah, but I mean, it seems pretty awesome. Uh, definitely check out some photos for it. Uh, the concept art looks pretty cool, and you, I mean, you never know. I mean, now that they got Star Wars Land in Disney World, I mean, they can kind of do they can just expand however they want, which would be really smart mm-hmm. since Star Wars is a ne- always expanding universe. In what in a. Well, Disney. I mean, that could, like, honestly, that could spur, like, other locations, too. Just, like, other Star Wars-themed hotels in different big cities. Mm-hmm. Like, it could be a different ship, you know? Yep. Yep. Definitely. I mean, because they could do it in the... They got Paris, Tokyo. Mm-hmm. Um, is there one in India? I feel like there's one in India. I'm not I sure. think there might be, yeah. <laughs> but I, I know Tokyo, Paris, and Florida. So, I mean, those are all... The, or, uh, yeah, Florida. So you can check all those out. So, pretty awesome. Um, I definitely want to check it out. Um, But speaking of things to check out, uh, if you guys uh, follow our Facebook page, which is at S-L-Y-K Radio, you do know that we started up a YouTube channel more aggressively. um, Kind of lightly had one going. Mm -hmm. Um, But we just recently did an interview with RPG Plushies. It's the latest video. Yeah, so uh, little cool plushies. Um, they are pretty awesome, so I definitely suggest it. Um, I'm going to post a link to the YouTube video right now. Um, but go check out those plushies. They're doing a Kickstarter right now. They have five days left on their campaign. They're about 80% there, so definitely help them. Um, it, they're awesome little things. I And the plushies right now are the five <coughs> that are actually made through a factory because the these ones were so popular that they couldn't keep them stocked. Which is so, awesome. I mean, people wanted them so bad. So they went through a manufacturer and actually got these plushies manufactured. So it's not like if you support them, they're not going to yeah. fulfill their orders. And it, RPG plushies sounds like how it is. Like um, She took like cute little animals and made them into like D&D characters. So there's a 
There's a warlock who's a narwhal. They call him a, a narlock. Yeah. Yep. Narlock. Um. Let's see. I got. I got. Pretty actually fancy. have them right here. My Fiji plushies. So they got Fergus the narlock, uh, Koleth the paladin, uh, Nomaru the the rogue. Who he's kind of my favorite. It's a little black. It's always a rogue. I know. It's always a rogue. Rogues are just freaking cool, man. Um. Let's get the yeah. Let's get this in there. Uh, no pain. <laughs> Wack kick radio YouTube. Oop. There we go. Did I type you? I type you oop. You loop. So yeah. So go check it out. Um, it's right up there in the chat. So uh, I would also appreciate if you guys would subscribe to the channel. It makes a big difference for us. I mean, anytime you can do anything helps us out. Not to mention if we can get bigger, um, we can actually make money off this penis, damn thing. Penis pump. <laughs> we can make, it's we, not. It's not mine. I swear. We need a penis pump for it's, our YouTube channel. It's not mine. I swear. <laughs> Who put that in there? <laughs> um. So yeah. Uh. But check that out. Um. But if uh, you don't want to click the link, you can also just Google S L Y K Radio in the YouTube box. It'll pull up. Um. Click on the one one with more subscribers. Um, I have two. I'm going to get a combined. Don't worry about it, but just do the one with more subscribers. It'll make it easier. Um, but next is SlickTube. Tube, Tube Slickers. Yeah. Uh, Shell, you got this one? Let me look at it. Sorry. She's doing it's, show notes, guys. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> get off her back. <laughs> uh, we're in SlickTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, BBC and um, ITV have launched a new streaming service called BritBox. Um, and finally, all 26 seasons of Doctor Who are in one place. Because um, I know, I'm sure many of you have realized that they uh, removed all the Doctor Who episodes from Netflix. Mm -hmm. And they were and then, all on there for the longest time. They were, and then they had them on Amazon. I think you can still watch the new ones on Amazon. Mm -hmm. But for six ninety nine a month, you can get a bunch of other British television shows that are not yeah, like available on other streaming services. Mostly classics of, of that type, but yeah, exactly. Mostly like classic programming. Um, and Doctor Who is on there, so um, it's Britbox dot com. Yes, and I am also tagging them in the chat room, uh -oh. so you can check them out. The Brit Box. Well, that's exciting stuff because I love watching all the like older ones. Because they have The Office on there. They have uh, mm -hmm. what's that? It's like Firefly, but it's not. Uh, Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Bam. So. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely awesome, so go check it out, um, especially if you are a fan of that British TV, which I, most everyone I know is, that's for sure. Um, but yes, so, uh, next bit of, oh my god, super freaking cool, awesome. Uh, if you guys didn't know, there is a big Star Wars event happening right now, and they did release the trailer... For the Star Wars Less Je Last Jedi movie, which is coming out soon. Yay. I'm so excited! I had goosebumps <laughs> when I freaking watched it. I was like... <laughs> hey, uh, what is the RPG plushies Facebook uh, Loading Crew Craft. Yeah. Kay. Yeah. They, uh, it, they haven't tied those together yet, but... Yeah, you know, it works. Star Wars! Will you go in and just add that yeah. I will. Once I schedule it. Okay. That's because that's the last thing I got here. Yeah. Cool. Oh, wait. Sorry. I have something to show people. Hold on. Other cool stuff. Keep t talking about Star Wars. I'm going to grab that painting. Oh. So that... I don't know if you if you had seen that. So what is that? What do you what do you think that means? Is that the end of the Jedi Order? Or uh, the end of? I think I don't know. I like I hate to like um, it's a very unpopular opinion, but um, like a lot of people are not excited for this. But I think it is going to be maybe a gray Jedi story. Why not? Why not? 
Because I guess mean, what? Anakin Skywalker probably wouldn't have turned to the dark side if if like he was allowed to express his emotions or care about his mom or have right. babies in public and said, No, you're supposed to be celibate. Bah! And, mm-hmm. Yeah. Grey Je- 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 Grey Jedi would have been so much better. Uh, yeah. Well, and I think maybe they realize that too. Yeah, I mean, that's very true. So, uh. I mean, like, why not? Let's try it. I ran downstairs to go get this piece of awesome artwork because this was from Christopher Clark. Uh, it was a guy that we interviewed at Denver Comic Con last year. Um, awesome piece. Uh, yeah. Too damn cool. Uh, like I said, Christopher Clark, he, he is a artist based out of Denver. So, we will, uh. I have the, uh. Thing posted in there somewhere. So go check it out. He's super damn cool. Yeah, uh, he has a studio in Denver. Everyone can see. I do not want to put that on the ground. <laughs> Don't uh, hang it back downstairs. No, I'll just put it here. Hang it back. Oh yeah. But yeah, so go check it out. He's a uh, absolutely amazing artist. He doesn't do just Star Wars, but he uh, is one of the uh, very few people that is. Legitimate Lucas Films, so go check them out. Sponsored, yes. Um, so and they're doing limited prints of stuff of all the stuff. Yeah, Dan- ten of ninety five. What? Daniel says that, um, like uh, Luke realizes that the old Jedi ways is too black and white, and that there needs to be a gray Jedi, a gray area. Which would be so awesome. Which which is a good balance because it's like if you're too evil, <coughs> something's gonna go wrong. If you're too good. Something's going to go, go wrong. wrong. Yeah. You need, like, a balance of such things. Yeah, you, so, you need you need emotion and... Oh, yeah, uh, what, what is that? You just stuff down your emotions. If they come back up, you stuff them down again. Damn right. Hold on. I got it right here. So, every all the, all the Jedi codes, or all the Jedis have their code. Um, the gray one is my favorite. There is no dark side, nor a light side. There is only the force. I will do what I must to keep balance. There is no good without evil, but evil must be allowed to flourish. There is passion, yet peace. There is serenity. Must not be allowed. There must not be allowed to flourish. There is passion, yet peace. There is serenity, yet emotion. There is chaos, yet order. So, cool! Um, yeah, but if they were to implement the Great Jedi, I, that would be beyond exciting. Well, I mean, like, even in Rogue One, I feel like they hinted <coughs> at... They like, what? Grey Jedi with, like, what was his name, where he's like, I am one with the Force, the Force is one with me, and, like, he was. He was talking about the, like, balance mm-hmm. and the light and the dark. Like, I feel like they hinted at because he wasn't a Jedi. Yeah. But they're still strong, like, Force users. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just I like, mean, Force users have been around since... Before. Like since before, I mean, like like I said before, uh, Dark Horse Comics did a uh, a comic book series on it, um, which was uh, extremely awesome. Dark Horse sponsor us. Dark Horse sponsor us. Yeah, <laughs> they do so many good things. Uh, Dawn of the Jedi, um, which was just, I mean, badass. Uh, I mean, the the artwork in it was just top notch. So. I mean, I, JP's seeing a little bit of it right now. Mm-hmm. Come on. Get to the actual comic. There we go. But yeah. I mean, it was just super cool. And it goes over the original people who went around and collected all the Strong Force users from around the galaxy and put them on one world to try to, you know, build their strength and grow. So... There's Daniel. Cool. Right there. Bam. Uh... What is it? Um, Daniel says, also you can know the Force without being a Jedi or Sith like Maz, which is true. Um, uh, Michael says, Ex- uh, excitement, adventure, a Jedi craves none of these. And then Eric says, I'll be wearing my Obi-Wan Kenobi outfit to the new Star Wars movie. Which you should, because it's awesome. I should switch back to so, like, you know, there we go. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I mean, definitely check it out. Uh, definitely check out the comic from Dark Horse. That one was really good. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, um, did you actually find the trailer for this? What? Krypton? Jeepers. No. The first trailer for a Superman prequel, Krypton, 
uh, if you go to YouTube and type that, you'll just get a whole bunch of reaction videos because it just was released at a con. At a con saying it was that, released at con and they did not like. Yeah, they, they haven't released it to the public yet. It was like, oh, you you right? actually came but to I, the room and saw it, but there's like. Well, Weird. Are there, like, people's, like... Reactions They to did it. that, yeah. Well, yeah, but, like, they also did that with, uh... What was the... It was Star Wars last year, right? Where they released the trailer and, like, somebody recorded it on their phone and they, like, released it online and it was a... Everyone made a big stink about it. Yeah. yeah well, that's I mean. why they... That's why they was like... That's why we can't show you guys things because you guys will obviously put it up on you. And I... Guys, I tried to look for this trailer. I even went to Pornhub. It's not yeah. there. It's not there. So well, I we mean, saw pictures of their armor. It's very like Skyrim esque. It is. I mean, like, it looks like the glass armor out of Skyrim. Armor. So I mean, it, I, I'm excited. I mean, I'm definitely excited. So I mean, we'll see. Um, but uh, it is going to be a uh, TV show that's going to be coming out on Skyrim or on Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> Sci-fi. Sci-fi. <laughs> it's going to have tie-ins to the DCEU <coughs> films. So, cool. I mean, I, I'm excited for it. Uh, going back to Star Wars, Daniel says, Yeah, Rogue One's second trailer was like that, but Suicide Squad was the one that DC got all bent out of shape about. Which is, it is true. Yeah. So, um, but, uh, yeah. So, moving forward. Because they wanted to keep all that shit contained. Yes. <laughs> but, but it got out slowly. <laughs> Oh, that's just that's just how it goes. <laughs> Daniel says DCEU. Well, I'm not watching it. It ties into it. Yeah, it might be better than you know. It could be like how C U C U W C U does it. Um, or it's just C-W? you know C W. What I said C U. <laughs> that's how the Colorado <laughs> University does it. God damn. <laughs> it's how C E W does it. I mean, it could be done that way, and it just kind of ties in. Um, you know, story references. Mode. Yeah, so you never know. Um, speaking of stories that tie in, Jeepers Creepers 3 has finally finished filming. Uh, many thought the day would never come, while others hoped it wouldn't. Despite years of gestation and turbulent production, Jeepers Creepers 3 has completed filming in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, we're still not sure if Gina Phillips is going to return or how Part 3 is even going to tie into the other movies. Um, but you know what? It's coming out sometime, at some point, somewhere. It's gonna, it's gonna be like the Human Centipede, where like the previous movies were actually movies. Yeah. Like this is actually happening. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was that was definitely creative. Yeah. I mean, it was between creative. one and two, I haven't seen three, but uh, between <laughs> one and two, I think that was a good way to do you it. You can just fast forward to like where another man is raping another man in the kidney. Yeah. Because it, it takes place in a prison. Dude stabs a dude in the kidney. He's like, you ever been effed in the kidney before? And is like going to town on a kidney. I'm like, yeah, this is the thing I watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gets dark. Uh, the world of horror gets very dark. That's for sure. Um, speaking of things that get dark, though. X-Files. Um, after the success of the short little stout they had a little while back. Um, X-Files is coming back to Fox... Which is awesome. The uh, yeah. network Thursday announced a second edition of its X Files revival with uh, stars David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson and hit the creator Chris Carter all back on board. Woo! So yeah. Every, t- every time I hear that opening theme song of like X Files, like my hair stands on end. I'm like, Ugh. I was all sad because they had it on Netflix <laughs> and we were rewatching all of it. We made it to season three and then they pulled it off and I'm like, God, damn it! Now I have oh, to I illegally know. download all of this crap. <laughs> Right. This is what happens when they don't make it easy to stream shit. Shit gets stolen. That's yeah. your fault. This is true. That's that's what happened with um, Game of Thrones. Like once they said, and it's like, oh yeah, now you can watch it on like HBO Go or HBO Now. It's like it was like pirating like, the pirating of it. Like people will actually pay for it if, if it's, it's e- easily accessible to them. Yeah. It's like oh, I like this show. I'll buy the season pass, mm-hmm. whatever for it. It was like, you just need to make it available and people will pay for it. Yep, yep. I completely agree. I mean, it's just goofy. It's goofy that they don't make stuff readily available all the freaking time with, with the with the advent of the internet and how far it's come. 
There should never be anything that isn't accessible legally for free. I mean, that wasn't already legally mm -hmm. free. So, just saying, you know. Uh, but yeah, so production is going to begin this summer on the 10 episode event series. So, yeah. It's coming back to Fox just to get canceled again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, golly gee, Willikers. So, uh, coming up next is the Craft Brew. Yidden Review. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, the beer we are drinking is the Voodoo Donut Grape Gorilla. Putting these ice block things in here was an excellent idea. Yes. Um, the more I drink it, the better it tasted. What yes. Do you think? Also, it's a seven point five. So yes, <laughs> that would be the that would probably be the case. Yeah. So, um, it's uh, I can't I can't define it. I can't either. It's it's kind of interesting. It doesn't really have a great flavor to it. It's sweeter, uh, with a little bit of hops, but. <coughs> Aside it, from that, I think it's more of like a Pez, maybe. Pez, to okay, it. like the great Pez. I can see that. Huh. Hmm. <coughs> I'm curious. I tried to. Uh, I tried to get the the Klingon Imperial Stout from oh, did uh, you? the first store. But they sold out, so Nick said he'd order more and pull a case aside for us. <laughs> nice. I hope so. That would be awesome. It, it comes in a four pack, so I'll bring some down. Cool. Um, so yeah, uh, sweeter, hoppier, Pez beer. <coughs> great Pez isn't actually a great way to explain this. Mm -hmm. uh, it tastes it different. <laughs> uh, maybe Smarties. Hmm. <coughs> I could go with Smarties. Yeah, I'm interested. Like that I'm more interested. bitter Smarties. Mm -hmm. I, it's intriguing. I mean, that's for sure. I, um, the first drink was kind of like... Ugh. It's like, well, that's a, the, what that's, is that? a, that's a beer. That, that <laughs> is a beer. <laughs> I've been beard. Um, but the more I drank, the more it grew on me. Like, the more you like drank. A lot of beers. And it does help to keep it cool the whole freaking time. So uh, yeah. I advise these little awesome things. We've had them for a while. I just never remember to use them. What are they? Uh, they're stainless steel ice blocks. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, I see them now. Yep. So, uh, the beer itself, um, low carbonation, um, it's definitely filtered beer. I'm gonna give it a 2.75. I was gonna go with 3.25. <laughs> A three. Solid three. Yeah, so a solid three for the Voodoo Donut Grape Gorilla from Rogue Brewing, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, Rogue Brewing is <coughs> always a little rough for me, uh, just because I am a hops bitch. I have not had anything I've liked. <coughs> I mean, I am a hops bitch, and I've been a hops bitch for a long time, so just accept it. Um, so, yeah, pretty good score. If you guys are wondering why the hell we're scoring our beer, that's because you can follow us on Untapped. That's U-N-T-A-P-P-D. That is a website and app where you can score our, your beer and uh, suggest your beers with others and uh, let you know, let us know what you think of our rating as well. But check them out on Untapped. That's U-N-T-A-P-P-D dot com. Or get the app from the Apple or Android store. You can follow us there at S-L-Y-K Radio. JP's on there at JPizzletron. Yeah. And Shell is on there as Shell Shock Cosplay, right? Yes. Yep. And uh, I'll be adding this my blueberry nightmare to uh, to that to my I guess timeline there. What did you score that one beer? Um, this one. So the beer itself is like super <coughs> lightly carbonated, but like this is not for the faint of heart. Like you really have to like sours to like this one. And uh, good thing I do. What's um, the ABV on that? that the ABV is. It's 8.4%. Sweet Jeebus, I want one. Damn. It's good. It's really good. It's like sixteen ninety nine for a uh, Six? 11.2 fluid ounce bottle. Dang. Not too bad. Yeah, um, but it's good. Um, it's So it's like 
I wouldn't say it's sweet, but you know how like un like really ripe or not quite ripe blueberry juice tastes. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah, like still real tart. That's what it tastes. It tastes like blueberry juice, just sour, and it's not very carbonated, which is awesome. Uh huh. Um, no, it's really good. It's kind of got like that smokiness from the roasting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's really refreshing. So, are we guys going to Starfest convention? No. Oh. Where, where's that even at? Uh, it's up in Denver. Uh, it's this weekend. Yeah. Um, I know some of the mercenaries weekend. are going. Um. I know Eric is. He's going all weekend. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty um, cool. A lot of people are going. I am not. Um, I gotta work. Uh, Eric says the Denver Tech Center. Ah. Uh, so, I mean, yeah. I As much as I'd love to go, um, I, I'm gonna have to miss it this weekend. I've got some plans to go to Estes Park and check out... Uh, I, I've talked about it on the show before. Uh, Widow's Bane, uh, awesome band, oh, but yes. we're gonna go see the Widow's Bane play at the Stanley Hotel up in Estes Park this weekend. So nice, yeah, I'm excited for that. Like, oh, I bet. Ah, awesome, because I've seen them once. We saw them at the Zodiac down here in the spring. So it'd just be cool seeing like a horror esque band at like the Stanley Hotel, which is just mm -hmm. awesome. Yep. So it'll be like it'll be like Halloween in August, or uh, April. <laughs> <laughs> it's Halloween in April for me. Why is it small? That was weird. Super. Oh, BT Dubs. The score I give my beer is like a four point seven five. That's a pretty damn good score. Wow. <laughs> I'm docking at the quarter. Um, just because it really just tastes like juice. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's I'm just going to sit here mics. and get all schnockered on it. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. <coughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, what are we talking about? Oh, so yeah, so the beer. Um, so, super cool. You guys, you know you love it. Um, but make sure you follow us on Untapped. Uh, check out all the beers that we score. It's definitely worth it. Um, I mean, we're up, I think we're up in the 200s by now. I mean, if not close, yeah, even with the ones we've forgotten. Um, yeah. But anyways, um, something I always suggest is that uh, make sure you check out our sponsor, Hangins. Uh, don't forget to go to SoLikeYouKnow.com, click the link, and order your Hangins today. It's only four ninety nine with free shipping because, you know what, it's a good product, and that shit is, Yeah. Full of. There we go. <laughs> Why is it so low? I have no idea. Oh, probably because <laughs> this can be turned up. Whoops. Boop, 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 boop. Technical difficulties. Yo, check out my wiener and belly. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Any louder now? That's a little louder. I can turn it up more. Hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I, I do love, love me some, some potato sprinkles. sprinkles. It was louder like pre-show though. Yeah, I wonder if it has to do with how the output is. We'll figure it out. Um, uh, Daniel's not making it to Starfest either. Uh, Eric says Lyndon is helping me as I am stomping around as the thing. He's going to be a U.S. agent. That's smart. <laughs> You know, wanna... <laughs> spritz and Eric down. He was like, Spritz! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Squirt up in there. Alright. Oh, yeah. Cool me down. <laughs> cool me down. Um, so, anyways, guys, but uh, you know what? Um, we always want to make sure uh, we let everyone know that. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. This is Jason David Frank, Frank, the Green Ranger, Ranger. and you're listening, listening to, to So, so like, like You Know. know. <laughs> <laughs> it's more time. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll crop that down a little better, I swear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we found it. Yeah. It's just awesome. It's so awesome. He's at C2E2 in yes. three days. So, cool. No, one day. One day? Yeah. He'll be there Friday. Nice. Um, but anyways, uh, so that's it, guys. 
Uh, thank you for listening. Don't forget we put on new episodes every Thursday at 9.30 Mountain Standard Time right here on Spreaker.com slash S-L-Y-K Radio, Facebook.com slash S-L-Y-K Radio, and we are going to start posting more videos to our YouTube channel at S-L-Y-K Radio. We need more space then. Yeah, yeah, we'll get it in there. We'll move, uh, we'll, we'll take this and move it over a little bit, like Slightly. right there, and then we'll just dump the YouTube right there. We're going to fill that space, or just, I guess we could have it over here. <laughs> Towards you. Either way, we'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah. Shell? Yeah. Oh, I'm up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get back to that page. <laughs> it's all the way at the bottom. <coughs> you guys have empty space on your iPhone or Android phone that you're just dying to fill up. Download the Spreaker app and subscribe to our podcast, or stream us on Stitcher Smart Radio. We have new shows every Thursday. And so, like you know, is not responsible for anything ever. Oh, lovely! Produced by Six Lucians somewhere in Colorado. And so, like you know, is completely weightless. Like your bloody opinion. Just kidding. We care, but your government doesn't. Brexit. <laughs> Hashtag Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. We love you. We love you so much. It's beautiful. Yes. Good um, yeah. Good night. We will good see night, you Eric. next Thursday. Peace. Yeah.